McDonald's and speed sticks. Whoa, they're gone. They're gone. This training's here to stay. Oh, I feel like I don't know. Wow. My God, Bryson, I can't thank you enough. This, this is beyond any expectation. 161 is now very easy to achieve. I've taken that a lot of times. If anything, that's kind of my new level. I've got to push past that. This is getting good. This is Dave here. Welcome to the Jody Golfer. Today's going to be an exciting video. We are going to do something completely different to the speed trend than the last one. This speed training, in summary, is Bryson DeChambeau cycle mode. It's crazy. Now, first of all, I have got to give full credit to Rick Shields' video where he goes to see Bryson DeChambeau, who shows him this speed training, let's just call it. And it's just incredible. And it took me a while to think, well, is this going to be something for me? I had lots of reservations even with the speed sticks, about doing something where it's gonna potentially spoil my rhythm, make me over swing, make me lose my tempo, all those kinds of things, which were very, very important to me from the last time I tried speed training with speed sticks. But seeing the results that Rick got in just one session, I, I, it blows my mind, to be honest. And I thought, I have got to have a piece of that. Can I? The guy who's going to be turning 50 next year gain 10 miles an hour in one session here. That was Rick's target. That's my target. I'm going to try and go from 155 because that's what I had in my last video. It's me swinging really good um, and probably giving it a little bit more. But that was a good, that was a good solid, solid swing. I was getting 155. Today's target is the same as Rick's, 165. Rick's got 11 years on me. Can I do what he did? He got a 164. So I'm going to do my best to try and do that. Uh, I'm very excited, very G'd up. I'm all warmed up. I'm ready to go. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's see how this rolls. What I'm going to do is kind of almost forget about whether that ball goes in a straight line or not. I want to try and find the middle of the face. But I'm going to try and really kind of get right into it as hard as I possibly can. Get my weight at the left side and really kind of push back and around. Rick set himself 165, so I'm just gonna try and do the same. And that was out the heel. Do the good things that Bryson was taught about. If anyone hasn't seen that video, I'll put a couple of clips in here. It is absolutely fantastic. Whether you're a Bryson fan or not, I personally think he's great. That's 63. If I go a faster backswing, it's going to get a bigger rotation because momentum's going to take my shoulders around. But then, as Bryson says in his video, try and almost take your time at the top as your weight transfers on the left. 160, come on! Jump us off. The jump us off, get a bit more, get a bit more uh, freedom here. That's what I want to see. That was absolutely smashed. 165, easy here. I couldn't see myself doing this on a Saturday morning medal. Bryson, I'm not taking credit for this, this is what Bryson says. You're training your, your neurological system to understand that your body can move faster. So if you're training to move faster like this, you should naturally get more speed when you dial it back. Not pushing back. You need to get that there. That. That's the fella. That is the fella. Interestingly, I get that slight extra stretch. And as long as we transition is good, it just flows, which is obviously what should happen. All in the transition. A lot of golf, I think, is all in the transition. Wow! 
That is the best strike tonight. Come on, man. Get out of there. Come on. Not sure. That won't you know. There's a lot going on there, like. That was struck, but it's left. Ah, I'm kind of feeling that rhythm now, though. That wasn't a good strike, but I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel that new rhythm, that kind of taking it up high, and then I just feel as if I'm like waiting for it at the top, which is that exact feeling I want. That was better. That was definitely nutted. Come on, we're getting 160 a bit more regular now. That's better. 111 club. Right, come on. Have a couple of minutes. None of this was in the last video. The last video was all very calm. Let's like do this with good positions and good all this kind of stuff, which don't get us wrong by the way. I still think that is the way to go. However, if I do this, is it going to do what Bryson says? Is it going to make my brain realize that I can go faster? If I do this, I can always get me, it's only, it's only the first week of January. I've got plenty of time to get my rhythm back if I can find a new, new plateau of speed. That's the plan anyway. Right, come on, bit of a rest there. Get that back swing going, it's nutted. Look at that. We are smashing golf balls. We're hitting them that hard. That didn't happen with speed sticks. Come on! All right, new balls, please. Oh, that's good. That is good. 112. You can squeeze two miles an hour out of this. Wow. Wow. 114 club. Come on, get up there. Go! What's that one? 303. Mic drop. 165.5. One, six, six. In the bag. I had no clue I could get to there. Yes. Rick. You got a 164. I've got 11 years on you. And we've got a 166. Wow. Bryson, respect. We've beaten Rick Shields. Whoop, whoop. Right, come on, it's your last breather. Oh, come on. Come on. Tell you what, if you like videos like this, please give us a thumbs up because so far I've not had many thumbs up, but I'm still trying to find the audience. I'm not sure what you guys want to see. I've got, I'm kind of limited to a sim because I don't go out on the course that much. So yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, give us a thumbs up and maybe even a little subscribe. And if you think at this point, I'm going to beat 165 again, put it in the comments because here it comes. Come on, this is going to be it. Ooh, that felt special, that one. Go on, get the three. Get the 300. 166, people. 166. 26 spin. I'm taking that. I've definitely beat Shields now. Comment below if you agree that I've beat Rick Shields. Get up. Finding me in a brace, and I think we stand behind his motivators. Come on. Yes! 168, come on! That's massive. That is massive. That was wellied. Oh, that's me done, because that was smoked. Oh, I feel lightheaded there. Wow! Wow! Holy... What? 172.
Oh, I think I'm finished. I'll share some feedback on this because this was just incredible. I am genuinely astounded by how well this session's gone. We did 110, I think, 111 balls. It took an hour. What Bryson explained was for maximum speed, you need 120 balls, you need an hour. And what that then does, it then breaks the neurological barrier that your brain essentially is kind of like controlling what your body's doing. What Bryson explains is to kind of give yourself maybe 15 seconds when you feel like you've hit that glass ceiling that I mentioned halfway through here. I got to like 161, 162 and I kind of felt that I was stuck at that point. Give myself a little bit of time and then suddenly found something extra. A couple of takeaway points for anybody that wants to, to, to try this. You've got to be free. You've got to feel as if everything's fluid. Don't be tense. The, the upper body's got to do all the work and you've got to kind of just let your arms fall into position and then just rip that handle through as hard as you can. Take the club back swift and kind of feel feel that kind of like weightlessness at the top as, as you're kind of transferring the weight onto this side. Feel that, that shaft go light and then you're posting up on your left side here and then just kind of like pushing back and around and then trying to just whip that club through and just let it let it literally whip through and again with soft hands the club literally does want to whip through for me I've never been able to feel time at the top there's a couple of shots near the end there where I could, I could sense that I kind of could feel at the top that, yep, that feels good. One thing without doubt I'm going to be doing is Bryson thinks that if you do this every week, you potentially might get one, two, maybe even three miles an hour faster each week. I don't know how realistic that is for me. I mean, again, guys, to be fair, I am 50 next year. However, I feel like I'm about 24 tonight. That, that's just completely blown away. Um, my my original question in the last video as to, you know, am I too old to make games? I'm definitely not too old and neither are you guys. You, anyone my age, around my age, middle-aged golfers, men and women, try this. It is so much fun. You've got to stay tuned because there's going to be some more of this stuff too. Now I'm not going to stop at this point. Please have a go. Please check out uh, Rick Shields and Bryson. If you like this, please let me know by pressing like. Um, and if you want to subscribe, make sure that you keep in touch for the next sessions that come out to keep track. Uh, that would just be cool. So yeah, let me know what you think and um, good luck to anyone who tries it. And uh, yeah, take care everyone.